Welcome to The Walking Dead Season 1 Episode 2 Part 3. So I thought it might be a good idea to add funny subtitles, uh, because sometimes those uh, walkers might be a little jump scary. That's new. Yeah, have fun. Yeah. Never get used to the smell, do you? <laughs> nope. That's nasty, man. Christ. I can't stop thinking about dinner. Thanks for the rations earlier. It's not easy eating in front of the kids, but it's all that's keeping me on my feet right now. I'm hungry too, Mark. Do you think they're gonna be good for it? Dinner for a whole group of people? If they've got as much food as they say, I, I think so. Come on, I think I see where they're getting in. This one must have knocked it over trying to get through. He's tangled up in there pretty good. Come on, help me get this thing back in place so we can get Mr. Crispy off of here. I think we'd get Crispy. better leverage from the other side. Good idea. <clears throat> Little help here, Lee? Yeah, I'm trying. Holy fuck! What just happened? The fences are on. Why the hell would he turn the fence on? He knows we're out here. <laughs> what the? Get to the gate! Get what down. the fuck? Jesus! We had an agreement! Now you're fucked! Who the fuck is that? No idea. Fuck. Now what? The fence on that gate is our only way out. Now there you are, boy. Get closer. You fuck with your no fuel. You think we'll be close? You asshole. Is there a break? Stop shooting at us. You didn't deliver the goods. Now we're gonna take what's ours! What about our arrangement? Did you really need you to fuck with us? What? I see you fool now! Behind the tractor! Give us the food! We had an agreement! Come on, if we can fuck. reach the gate, we can get through this fence and back to the house. Ah! Sorry to get Shit, one of you. Hurts. Shit! I see you! Over there! I can do this all day! What happened? Shit! It's one of the dead we pushed down earlier. Gonna have to move it. down Holy shit, are, 
Are you okay? Fucking bandits. They have no right being out here. Oh, my lord. What happened to you, sweetheart? It was those bastards in the woods, mama. Yeah. I'll be all right once it's out. God damn, it hurts. Hey, y'all. Mark. Oh, my God. What happened? He got shot with an arrow. Christ. Are you going to be okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I should just pull it out. Oh, no, honey. Come on. Brenda's got you. Come on inside now. We'll have you all sorted out. Well, you must be the best. What kind of shit is this? We ran into some people on the way up here. Bandits, I guess. I think it was them that attacked us. They gave us a lot of problems in the beginning. Killed a bunch of our farmhands. We were able to get them to stop by making a deal. You knew about these people? Food for protection. Not like we had much of a choice, but they did stop hassling us. God damn it. Carly said this place was locked down tight. Maybe it isn't as safe here as we thought. Look, we're sorry. We, we never had them screw with us like this. Not since we started giving them food. Listen, we may have had an agreement with those people, but we will not stand for this shit. Ain't no way we're gonna let those sons of bitches get away with this. You know where these assholes are? They're hard to pin down, but I think I know where at least one of their camps are. When you're ready to go scope out that bandit camp, come find us. Bandits? Are you serious? This place isn't safe. We can't stay here. Not safe? This place is a hell of a lot safer than that motor inn. I think all of us and our guns can handle a couple of punks with bows and arrows. What we need to do is find a way to get our whole group out here to stay. Take this place over if we have to. Whoa, cool your jets there, Rambo. These are nice people. Let's not do anything to get us thrown out before we eat. I'm gonna head out and help Dan deal with these bandits. You guys should try to make friends with Andy and Brenda while I'm gone. Well, that's easy. I got charm coming out of my ass. Yeah, that's... Real charming, Dad. Where's Ben and Carly? Since Carly and Ben ate some of the food on the way to get us, she volunteered to stay behind and watch the motor in until we get back. That's smart. Hey, kids. Look what Lee got working for you. A swing. I love swings. Just like at my treehouse. Come on, Doc. Thanks, Lee. You're the best. Yeah. She's so happy. No wonder you're the leader of your group. So cute. You what? Why are they all teleporting? What's going on? Can I check the bar now? Definitely tell they built this thing themselves. Oh, I can. That's good. Looks like a feeding station for the cow. Having a crop like that on hand must be great. We're gonna need to learn how to maintain it if we end up staying here. Lots of hay. Ugh, enough of these might work as adequate cover for arrows, if that becomes a problem. If there's not enough room in the house for all of us, I guess a few of us could camp out here in shifts. I think it's best to talk to Clem and then raid the raiders, the bandits. Hey, Clem, do you like the swing? Yeah, it's fun. Thanks for fixing it. You're welcome. Will you push me on it? Sure. Happy to push you on the swing. Mind if Clementine takes a turn? All right, Duck. Let Clementine have a try for a bit. Okay.
How are you holding up, Clementine? I'm okay, I guess. Are you okay? Yeah. I'm just a little worried about Mark. Is Mark going to be okay? You got lucky out there. Could have been a lot worse. Are you going to find the people who hurt Mark? Well, we have to make sure they don't hurt anyone else. Be careful. I want you to stay lucky, too. Ever since I met you, I've had good luck, so don't worry. Okay. What do you think of the dairy? It's pretty. It reminds me of how things used to look before. Yeah, it does. Do you think things will ever get back to how they were? I'm not sure, Clint. I hope so. I hope so, too. Don't worry. We're safe here now. As long as the bad people don't get me too, right? I won't let what happened to Mark happen to you. Promise? I promise. All right, Clem, that's enough for now. Okay, thanks for pushing me. Of course, it's all yours. Yeah! Okay, Duck, don't pop a gasket. Good. Time for some retribution. Fellas, how you feeling, Lee? Look, I'm really sorry you almost got killed out there. Uh, we should have told you how dangerous it was. No shit. You saw what they did to your buddy. Nobody's safe here until we start to fight back. But how? The you two take... of us should go out and do some recon. Then we'll all mount up for some revenge. Hell yeah. Who the fuck are these people in the woods? We don't know. I think some of them used to work at the big box up the way. Save lots. Yeah. Anyway, they're nutty as all hell and get mad when they're hungry. So, are you ready to head out there and find their camp? This guy with the... Um, the guy on the left is like super aggressive. Yeah, it'll be a good opportunity to find out a bit more about what we're up help. against. Let's do it. I'll stay here and hold down the fort. Remember, we're just doing reconnaissance for now. No use getting ourselves killed. Are you going now? Yeah, I'll be back soon, Clementine. Please be lucky. I will. She's so concerned. See anything? Not yet. I know it's around here. It's gotta be close. Found it. Surprise. Surprise, motherfucker. <laughs> Sorry. Sneak up to the camera. You see anybody? Stay on your guard. Watch my back, Lee. I'm gonna check out the tent. too small. It can't be their main base. That's what I was thinking. Take a look around anyway. There's probably some shit around here they stole from us. Empty. But it looks like someone's been eating out of these. Recently. What's in the boxes? They're all from save lots. The first few days, they told folks to gather to the save lots by the interstate. 
Anything worth taking? Not unless you need a bunch of empty cans. <laughs> I'll pass. Boxes from the dairy here. Probably the food we've been giving them. Fuckers cross the line. Hmm. Looks like they were moving a lot of stuff. Tent looks pretty new. Anybody inside? Two sleeping bags. One of them's kid-sized. Empty. What's in the box? What'd you find? A video camera. Let me see that. Battery's dead, though. Oh, good. What else they got over here? Let's see if we can find anything useful and then get a move on. I see you handled that gun I lent you pretty well. You a hunter? No, but Lily keeps us all on a regular training schedule. Lily? Ah, uh, yes. I thought you were running things back there. Yeah, but uh, uh she's got the combat training. I guess she is uh, Navy something. I think that they did. The hell? Don't you fucking move! Shit! Put your guns down. I ain't going back. You tell him Jolene ain't going back. Hey, we had a deal. No shooting as long as we gave you food. What the fuck happened? You had a deal with them. I ain't them. Oh, I know you. I know what you are. And I know what you do. You don't know me. Steal my shit. Steal everything from me. We had a deal. You people broke it first. Why are you alone up here? What happened to you? Well, that's a hell of a question, mister. They told me I'd be safe with them. Men who lived here. But it weren't safe. Not for me. And not for my girls. They didn't treat her nice. Not at all. They took her away into the woods. Wouldn't tell me where. And I begged them every way I could think. They just laughed. <laughs> so I killed them. And I'm staying here till she comes back to me. One way or another. She'll come back. Now maybe you didn't hear me last time. When I asked you, sweet, put your damn guns down. You think I won't kill you? I'm gonna take this here crossbow and put a nice sharp arrow right through your eyeball and into your goddamn brain. You're not men. You're monsters. All men are monsters. Take what they want and then destroy it all. Take a can of beans. Take a little girl. It's all the fucking same to you. Where did you get this hat? The little girl. You stole it from her. So what if I did? You stole her from me. What? What the hell are you talking about? You know what? I changed my mind. I'm putting this arrow right through your balls. Yeah, right through. String them up on that tree. Then I'ma head down to that farm and shoot every goddamn person I see. Enough! Y'all wave them guns like you're looking to die. Don't need- Shit! What the hell'd you do that for? We had a deal with them. She was... crazy. She stole Clementine's hat! 
Somehow she got past us. Crazy fucking women must have been inches away from that child. I just couldn't take a chance on that happening again. That sound cool to you? I ain't crying about it. I mean, I know she was crazy, but damn. It's a clean shot, though. Right through the forehead. That's good shooting right there. Still, what a waste. So, that's it. We going back? If they ain't here, I don't know where they are. And it ain't a good idea to go tromping through the woods looking for them. So yeah, we head back. Once they see this, they'll get the message. question why did I shoot her as Lee said she managed to get uh, through the defenses of the motor in and uh, steal Clementine's head and I don't know she's like a wild card uh, this this woman or she was like a wild card because she's uh, obviously uh, dead um, <clears throat> I thought in a zombie apocalypse it would be the best to erase risks or threats uh, early before they can cause real trouble and this was one of them. Yes, I hope you enjoyed this part and see you next time. <laughs>